We're now uh, discussing or we're going to discuss your profitability ratio. What's the other uh, term? This can be performance ratio. This would tell us if you have the capacity to perform, to be productive no? from the inputs provided to the organization. Okay. So, um, the thing is, you need to, uh, may tinatawag tayong margin. Every time that you use margin, no, you have to remember that it uh, uses sales. Okay? So, when you say gross profit margin, that would be, this will be your numerator, gross profit, and it will be sales. Okay? So, let's take a look at the gross profit. It is 162,000. You divide it by the sales of 360. If... Uh, you have 162 and you divide it by 360 and on the got it is 0 0.45 so it can be pesos or it can be in percent okay so how are we going to interpret this that you have 45 cents no uh, to cover for your operating expenses uh, available no uh, these are available your your 45 percent to cover you no know? then you have operating profit margin and syempre numerator mo pa rin dyan, operating profit and your denominator would be sales or how are you going to compute for your operating profit that would be Gross profit less operating expenses over sales. If we have a gross profit of 162, we, de we deduct 59,000 administrative and we deduct selling expenses of 40,000. Then you divide it by 360. And what are we going to get? Oh, you have 162 less 59 less 40. You divide by, are you computing with me? I hope so. Oh, you have how much that you get? It will be 0 0.17 cents. Or it is 17.5%. Now, it meant to say that this would be available to cover for your financing costs, such as, in this case, interest expense. And this uh, also be um, uh, determine. This will also determine if you have available resources to cover for your uh, financing costs. So sometimes your operating income may be the same. May, may lang ah. may be the same. Okay, with your earnings before interest and taxes. So, let's uh, have your profit margin, okay? Uh, and, and that would be net income or net profit divided by sales. What's the other term for this? Return on sales. Pares lang yan. At dito ang net income natin, 36. O, tapos... Ang inyong sales, 360,000. O, ilan na? That is 0 0.1 or that will be 10%. Ibig sabihin, you have 10% as your uh, profit margin or return on sale which will now be used for uh, either you're going to reinvest or you're going to return to your owner okay so this indicates your performance no so and you also know you have your return on asset every time that you use return you're going to use net 
income or you're going to use net profit. Okay? So, ano yan? O di net income divided by asset or total asset. Ilan yung net income natin? 36. Ang asset natin ang 2020, 400. Ma'am, pwede ba ang average? Why not? There's no uh, there, there is no um, uh, ruling that, that says that bawal. Okay? Ayan. So, you have 0 0.09 no? or 9%. The, perf the utilization of your asset, it tells us how had been productive you are and, and, and that is around 9%. So, you need to compare it with the previous years or to the uh, industry uh, benchmark. Okay? O, ano pa kulang natin? We have return on equity. O, di net income uli. Anong gagawin natin denominator? May ID na kayo? Siyempre, stockholders equity. And that would be, ito yan, diba? Uh, 36,000 divided by 1 po, ay, teka, sorry, sorry. Hindi siya naka, ano. That would be 160 plus 102. Kasi 2020 yung net income mo, 2020 din dapat yung stockholders equity mo. Mm. Ilan yung 160? At saka 102. Diba? O sige nga, i-divide nyo na. Mm, I'm waiting. O di 36 divided by divide nyo na. 262. Ilan yun? 0 0.1374. So that would be 13 point, uh, 13.74%. So, for every peso, kasi parang ito, oh, for every peso of asset, you have around 9 cents as a return or 9%. Parang ganun. Para lang yung sa profit margin nyo dito. Kada pisong benta, may gisentimus kang kikitain. Yan nun. Yan ang... Ibig sabihin yan. Mm. And, let's use DuPont analysis. What is the good thing in using DuPont analysis with your profitability ratio? But kailangan natin siyang gawin? Kasi it will tell us if uh, kasi ito ginagamit sa return on asset at return on equity. Di ba ito net income over total asset? Ito naman net income over stockholders equity. Mas makikita kasi natin kung saan ang gagaling yung efficiency and effectiveness. Okay? Remember, profitability ratio is an effectiveness ratio. Ano ba dito to? Profit margin multiplied by asset turnover or ito return on sales. Ano to? Net income divided by sales times sales divided by total asset. Ayan. Kaya yun. Remember your asset turnover is efficiency. Baka itry nyo yung i-compute. Kita nyo. Makukuha nyo yun nga. And then you have Ano to? Or you have uh, ROA multiplied by uh, capital intensity ratio. Okay? Mm. Tingnan natin. You have profit margin times asset turnover. Diba? So, that would be net income over sales multiplied by sales over total asset, o di yan na. O, eh, di ba ang kailangan natin dito, o, net income, o di, anong kulang na lang, ito, stockholders equity. Ito, total asset. Kaya tinawag siyang capital intensity ratio. Ito yung formula mo, total asset divided by stockholders equity. Okay? So, this is what? This is profitability, profitability ratio. This is activity ratio. No? And this one is 
what? Eh, yung pwede mo sabihin na sa solvency yan. Hindi natin tinake up kang ina, di ba? Or this would be leverage. So, it talks about three ratios pag return on equity using DuPont analysis. Again, uh, the result will be the same. Kasi ano nakuha natin na return on asset 9%, di ba? Ano nakuha natin na uh, return on equity 13.74%. So, pagka ginamit nyo, no, yung uh, gawin natin kulay red. Yeah. Pag ginamit nyo yung, uh, ah, so, sorry, sorry. Pag ginamit nyo yung, ayan, nawala na yung ginawa natin. Ito, ito, ito. Pag ginamit mo yung DuPont, you'll be able to, uh, know ano yung mas uh, nag-contribute. O, di tingnan natin. Rowa tayo. Uh, ano ni profit margin natin? 36 divided by 360 plus asset turnover that would be 360 divided by 400 plus 500 Diba? Mm. Complete nyo class. Nag-abilates ba tayo sa taas? Mm. Anyway, de, try nyo lang na i-compute and let's see what would happen. Diba? Um, you have, compute nyo na ba? O, 36 divided by 360, that would be 0.1 uh, times, sorry, <laughs> it should be times, sorry ah plus sinasabi ko sa inyo. Um, you have 400 plus 500 divided by 2. Okay. So, yung 360 di-divide nyo sa okay na kayo? Meron na tayong uh, sagot? Okay na? Hmm. Oh, what happened? Rowa tayo, di ba? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So, the, the result is actually here. Zero point, uh, zero point zero eight. Okay? Or, eight percent. This one is nine percent. Let's try not to average. Okay? Kuha natin ang sagot. 0.1 times 360 divided by 400. Kasi di ba tayo nag-average sa tase? Ito ang makukuha natin dito. 0.9. 0.1. Then this will be equal to 9%. Okay? Okay? Kasi hindi tayo nag-average sa taas. So, eh, pag nag-average, kita niyo yung... So, parehas. So, ganun din ang kalalabasan class kapag ka ang ginamit natin ito sa return on equity. O, tingnan na natin ito sa return on equity. Ano na siya? So, we have 0.01 times 0.09 times total asset. Ang total asset natin ay uh, 400 Divide by stockholders' equity, 160 plus 102. Mm. Ay, teka nga, purahin ko pala sa'yo. Yan. O, sige na, complete nyo na. O, 400. I-divide mo sa 262. Ilan nakuha nyo? This will be 1.52 or 1.53 kasi 526. Mumultiply mo sa... figure na sinusulat ko, class. 0.1 tsaka 0.9 times 0.1 times uh, 0.9. Nakuha niya na yung sagot. Oh, it is 13.74%. 
or ang makukuha nyo dyan ay 0.1374. Diba? O, di 13.7. Parehas ba dun sa taas? Ayan na, 13.74%. O, parehas. Okay? So, makikita natin kung alin yung uh, mas magkocontribute. Yung sa leverage ba? Yung sa efficiency ba? O yung sa profitability ba? Okay? And one that is also important is your earnings no? per share. Pag earnings, it is also indicative of net income. <clears throat> and per share, that would be outstanding share. So, net income distributable to stockholders uh, is actually 36,000. And your outstanding share will be ilan? 30,000. Ayan ka 30,000. So, you have you have uh, 36,000. You divide by 30,000. So, you have 1.2 earnings per share. Kada piso. Na, o kada, naku, hindi piso. Kada share na meron ka, kumikita ka ng 1.2. So, if you have 1,000 shares sa company, you multiply it by 1.2. That's your earnings, no? Total earnings from the company. Yun yun. Okay. Ngayon, yung earnings per share mo, dalawa ka pupuntahan yan. Either, i-retain mo yan sa organization for growth or i-distribute mo yan. In the form of dividends. No? For your organization, diba? I be able to share, no? A part of what you have earned to the owner. So, yung retain, this is for the business. Itong distribute, this is for the owners in the form of dividend. Sometimes, um, ano ang tawag dito sa nire-retain na ito? Okay, EPS. Tawag natin dyan, retention ratio or flowback at yung isa naman payout no or dividend payout yan ateka yan ala best penmanship ko na yan class dividend payout o tingnan natin ah uh, compute muna natin yung payout and payout will be equal to dividends Divided by the, ano, earnings, syempre. And in this case, do we have the dividends? Yes. Dividend is 9,000. No? And it is 36,000 yung earnings mo. O, tingnan nyo. 9 divided by 36, ilan ba yun? That will be 0 0.25. That is your payout. Pwede rin namang ang gawin nyo ay ano, dividend per share divided by earnings per share. Ilan yung dividend per share mo? The DAP would be 9,000 divided by 30,000. Diba? O di 9 divided nyo sa 30,000. Ilan yun? 0 0.3. E di ba nakuha natin earnings per share? Ilan na earnings per share natin, class? Ayun, 1.2. That is 1.2. So, 0.3 you divide by 1.2. That is also 0 0.25. Ayun, parehas lang. Okay? So, depende kung ano data na nandun kayo. Na nandun meron kayo. But, it won't deviate. Kasi, ginawa mo lang naman per share to, eh, no? Uh, and, uh, so, if you have the earnings per share of 1.2, no, 25 is for payout, no, 25 cents or 
Magkaparehas ba yun? Parang hindi, di ba? <laughs> 25% cents, 25% magkaiba yun. <laughs> mm. And so, kung, kung yung one, sa 1.2 ay uh, proportion yan klase o oh. ratio and proportion di percent yan. Tama. Oh. You have oh, what happened? Yung payout one less uh, rather retention one less payout. Okay, yan yung retention nyo. Laro ba yun? Mm. Ngayon yung, ang dapat natin pag-isipan, ito ba e percent o peso ses? O sige, ano yan sa tingin nyo? E 9 divided by 36. 0.3 divided by 1.2. Dividend per share. Oh. Then you have earnings per share. That would be percent. Ito, i-convert nyo sa percent. ba? So, magiging 25%. So, ibig sabihin, 75% yung, pay, yung, yung blowback. ba? Kung 25% yung payout, anong gagawin mo? How much would that be? 0.25 or is equal to 0 0.3. At ang flowback mo ay ilan? Oh, edi 75%. Oy, di kayo nalilito ah. Yan, equals. Yan, diba? We talk about in terms of peso. Kasi yung division na yan, yung mga total values, di percent yan. Mm. Okay, so, yan ang kwento ng buhay ninyo, no? Um, Ano mga natutunan natin na bago? Hmm, ito kasi, pagka-listed firm, kailangan, ito nakikita to yung payout. Kasi alam mo naman kung ano yung binabayad nila na dividends. Okay? And they are giving you how much is the dividend per share. So, and they do have a data on earnings per share. So, you would be able to, to know no, what percentage will be their payout. And at the same time, what percentage will be their flow back. Okay? So, ano na uli yung piece natin? You have profitability, you have performance, you have productivity. Okay? Because, you have some in your ratio, profitability, solvency, activity, liquidity and market okay uh, we really would like to uh, as a firm be blessed and be able to uh, achieve our goal okay so you have here your three p's you have here your three s no of course ang liquidity pera sa pera yan isa lang naman ang pera so you unlike your activity or your efficiency no and uh, you, we know already that uh, P plus S plus L will be effectiveness. And when you add activity or efficiency, that is the achievement of the internal goal of the firm. And market uh, ratios will tell us if uh, we were able to achieve the external goal of the firm. And that is maximization of shareholders. Well, okay. So thank you very much. Uh, be safe. Have a good day.